Hello, Danny Blythe, maximizing your defenses using Chinese dietary wisdom, and we're looking at spleen chi deficiency, so low digestive system, low energy. Please pause and read this. Spleen chi is deficient, and you're re recuperating. There are a few things you don't want, and I remember these as I remember a super smoothie. So these are things to avoid tropical fruits, uh, raw veg ice cream or milk, too much dairy products, anything that's ice cold from the fridge or the freezer, and too much sugar, and stuff that's blended up into bits. You want food that you're going to chew at this point and food that you need to cook. What you do want, I remember, is the recipe, a slow cooked root veg tagine. So lots of root veg, and these are literally the plants, stores of chi for the winter. So carrot, squash, pumpkin, any of them, um, wholemeal, grains and pulses, small amounts of dried fruit, aromatic digestive herbs, and these can be your Mediterranean basil, rosemary, parsley. They can be your Indian coriander, cumin, turmeric. They can be your Chinese uh, ginger, star anise. Doesn't matter, any of them are good. The more variety, the better. And lots of veg, especially brassicas, mushrooms, celery, any veg. And you can do without these, or if you do have them in small amounts, beef, chicken and honey. A couple of recipes I made for my family while we were convalescing from this virus. So roast veg and chickpeas. So my marinade was a quarter of a cup of olive oil, a tablespoon of honey, a lime juice, mustard, three to four tablespoons of fresh herbs or three to four dried. I used a mixture because it's what I had of dried paprika, um, dried thyme, some grated nutmeg, and then some fresh basil and oregano and some salt and pepper. So mix it all up, add in your diced veg and your tin of chickpeas, let it simmer away for a while, let it all marinate for a while and steep up the juices and then roast it for an hour-ish until it's well cooked and brown. So I made a nice chunky farmhouse soup you can see the other half of my squash. So onion and two garlic fried in oil, add in some herbs. It needs to be easy to easy to make when you're not feeling great. So I just use mixed herbs, paprika, salt and pepper. Um, add in some good chunky veg. So I add a pepper, some carrots, my other half of my squash and a tin of butter beans. Added a tin of tomatoes to that and three cups of stock. Simmer it for 20 or 30 minutes. So you can see we've got good variety here. We've got a dozen different ingredients and the gut bacteria. So the digestive system loves variety. We've got a good spread of colors. So we've got some nice lycopene in our reds here with the pepper and tomatoes. We've got some um, beta carotene with our carrot and our squash. We've also got lots of fiber. So our alliums and our butter beans, good soluble and insoluble fiber. So they're really good for the gut bacteria. Now what this soup really needs to finish it off is a nice bit of Parmesan or nice pesto. But unfortunately, A, my village shop doesn't stock Parmigiano Reggiano and B, dairy is probably not the best thing to have at the moment. Um, so instead I made a kind of almost pesto. So some Brazil nuts, some fresh basil, some yeast flakes, and these give it a nice cheesy flavour. Some garlic granules, salt and pepper. Blend it all up with a little bit of water. And hey presto, you've got a nice pesto substitute to float on top of your soup. Thanks for listening.